Happy Wednesday. Sorry I haven't been around, but it's not been a very good week this week. Uh, certain things have happened, which I'm not going to go into on here. Which has kind of robbed me of the enjoyment of making any videos. You know, I can't really say anything about it on here, but... It's just took all the joy out of it. I no longer want to make them, really. I will do, no doubt, when it, everything get sorted but at the moment I just don't feel like it but I have got some things to show you today um, I have ordered oh gosh throwing the control off me chair I got some I watched Sheila's you know Sheila's knitting and whatever 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 I never remember and she'd ordered some yarn from knitting wool sales I think it was called and it's arrived today. It's 100% acrylic. It is mislabeled because it says double knitting on it and it's obviously not. It's chunky. And it says that it's chunky on the invoice. But um, even when you add up the price of the yarn and the price of the postage, I think it worked out about £1.40 a ball, which isn't a bad price. So I've ordered 100 grams. No, yeah, 10 100 grams. I'm not with it today, you have to excuse me. Uh, and it's uh, acrylic and um, I don't know whether it says how many yards is on it. It just says 100 grams made in Turkey. No, it just says mixed fibre. It doesn't tell you how many um, yards, metres, whatever, how many is on it. It doesn't tell you. But it is the majestic anyway. And it's cream and I've got my eye on a pattern to make with that eventually when I get my hands sorted out. I have been doing a bit of knitting today at Knit Club. Oh, what an experience it was going down to Knit Club. They have barriers that they put up on the seafront here when the sea is high and it's coming over the top. They didn't put them at my end, so I thought, oh, well, it's high time, but it'll be fine. I get us halfway to Cleveland's. Boy, it was coming straight over everything, over me, over the scooter, over everything. By this time, I'm too far along to turn back, if you know what I mean. I've gone three quarters of the way. So I thought, I'll plough on. So I'm ploughing through water that's lashing over, the waves were lashing over. And then when I got into Cleveland's, of course, they had shut the barriers at Cleveland's. Why they hadn't shut them at Fleetwood, I don't know. Let me get on, okay. I didn't know it was, well, I knew it was high tide, but I didn't think it was high, high, high tide, yeah. So I'm still doing, I'm doing the band bit that goes around the bottom of my jacket. I couldn't do, well, I could do, but I didn't like doing the stitch that it told me to do, which was, um, I mean, to me, it looks like stocking stitch, doubled up or something, but like you can see it because of the shine on the pattern. It looks like a stocking stitch to me. I'm doing this bottom band bit here. But they call it, um, what do they call it? They call it something different, obviously. Tweed stitch. And it's all pearl one, yarn back, slip one. It doesn't say slip one, knit wire, slip one, pearl wire. It doesn't tell me that. Yarn forward. Well, as I end the row on a yarn forward, I wasn't quite sure whether you wrap it round to continue to the row after. And then the row after is knit one wool forward, slip one again, doesn't tell me knit wise, pearl wise. Yarn back, repeat. These two rows form the pattern. Now I went and looked online because I couldn't sort it out. And the sample that they were doing online had an uneven number of stitches, which may have worked out better. But this one told me to cast on 18, which was an even number of stitches. So I tried and I struggled and I thought it doesn't look right on the ends of the row you know where I'm wrapping this wool forward round it and that so I thought no I'll just do moss stitch which is what I'm doing which is knit one pearl one then pearl one knit one the other way around yeah so what have I got today to show you I've got um festival top yeah done in the granny squares it's the same front same back um Woo, 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 woo. The back's got the fringe tucked up. It's the same front and back, different coloured squares, but it's the same front and back. So, 
if you're going to a festival or if you want to wear something like this, if you send me a message and the face in the oh you no not the YouTube. Oh Janet, my head's all way with the fairies today. In the email box underneath you. Yeah. Well I've got two boxes today. I've got one from a lovely friend who I always call Nancy and she's actually called Norma, yeah. And she sent me a lovely postcard saying she hoped that it would get me back in the mood to go on the sewing machine and to turn up my trousers, yeah. Yeah, she's called Love Norma, not Nancy. Because <laughs> I always call her Nancy for some unknown reason. I don't know why. I've not seen a picture of her, so I don't know if she looks like a Nancy or not. Anyway, she sent me a box and she said, if I don't like them, I can sort them out. So you're looking at them with me. Oh, once again, Janet did not bring her scissors, but she does happen to have a pair here. Little slippers. Norma Nancy, you have stuck these up. A treat. She's a lady who loves sellotape, a lady after my own heart. And I haven't put a lipstick on because I'm just pulling. Could be a battered. Oh, and I nearly had an accident on the way over. I stopped at the crossing, you know, to press the little button so that the green man would light up. And do not ask me how, because I did not have my hand on the accelerator. Shot forward, straight into the post that was holding the, you know, the beep, 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 beep thing. Ooh, hurt my shoulder. Shook myself up, of course, as usual. And by the time I'd sorted that out, the light had gone back to red again. Because I'd gone like that, I was sort of like half in the road and half on the pavement. How the heck it managed to go forward? I was nowhere near. You have to press the accelerator pedal. Well, accelerator thing on the handlebars to go forward. I was nowhere near it. I was pressing, with my this hand, I was pressing the button. Yeah? I don't know how that happened. Anyway, this is very, very pretty. It's turquoise blue. It's red and beige, I think. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Very delicate, very dainty. Hang on, while I move my camera around a little bit. There you go. Very, very pretty. I'll just put that on the floor for the time being. It's in a little bag. Another one that's in a little bag. My goodness me, Nancy Nora. <laughs> That'd be a good name for you, wouldn't Nancy Nora? Or Nora Nancy. I don't know why I always get her name wrong. Mind me, I had a lady used to come in the shop. And she came in the shop for years and years and years, and she always called me Susan. Never called me by my name. The staff used to correct her and say, no, it's Janet. And she'd say, yeah, Janet. And the next time she'd come in, she'd go, hello, Susan. <coughs> so I just said, yes, okay, fine, fair enough. Oh, this is nice. Very intricate. Got lots and lots of lovely colours on this one. Look at that one. Woo, woo, woo. That's nice. Look at that bead. Isn't that nice? Blues. Oh, we. You could wear this with most colours, couldn't you? It's got the purpley, jadey colour. This one shines, so it picks up the green in my sweater, picks up everything. That one's a greeny grey colour. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is a nice one. Very, very nice, yes. We'll have another little dig. Another little dig. See if I can undo it with sellotape. Righty. Oh, oh, I can't get in this. Oh, my fingers. I've been knitting at Knit Club and my fingers are hurting. All I can say is roll on next week when I have my operation. Oh, this is a lot of, a lot of little things in one bag. I'm going to have to be careful with these, otherwise I'm going to be losing them. Let me put them on my knee. Ooh. That one shines blue, and it shines silver. Like a little chain link. So if you wore it that way, you could wear it silver. If you wore it that way, you could wear it blue. Oh. Isn't that gorgeous? A brooch. Look at that. Ah. Oh, and it's a hair clip as well. It could be a hair clip. It's got a clip on the back. I could wear it in my hair. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, oh how can you bear to part with all these things? 
This one is a dainty little one. Sort of like pinks and lilacs and crystal really. Pink, lilac and crystal. That was what was in that bag. Still got more. No, scissors. Need scissors. My hand doesn't work, as I've told you before. Sorry to be like a broken record, but my hand is hurting because I was knitting. Wind, wind. I know, yeah, wind, wind. Oh, this is nice. It reminds me of, like, you know, the Chinese lacquer um, furniture that has all the paintings. It's black, isn't it? And it's lacquered. You know, the kind that you love and you can never afford. You see them in antique shops, don't you? And brick and brac as they used to call them. brick and brac shops, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I do like that. Look at that. Painted flowers on, on black. Ooh. One day when I'm rich, I'll have... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! She sent me some toiletries. How lovely. I didn't see those. Oh, thank you very much. They'll come in very handy for my hair. You know that. I did sham shower, shampoo it. I didn't have the shave, no. <laughs> I don't grow any hair. But, uh, yeah, I did have my shower this morning. So that's really useful. Thank you very much. That will come in handy. Right, we are at the end of the box. Not the end of the lollipop, it's the end of the box. But I've got two more. Two more to work with. And I've lost my scissors again. Here we go. I shall use my skizzers, as I really used to call them. But mummy, it's got to see in his skizzers. Well, perhaps I'm not supposed to say that. Mm. Perhaps I'm not supposed to speak about things like that, but I'll hold. Home for a sheep as I am, yeah. Look at those out, they're lovely purple. Or amethyst, as some people call them. Purple. I love these I've got on today. Look at those. Emerald green and purple. Beautiful. And they tie with a ribbon, so I was able to put them on with my dodgy hand. Yeah. Half of the time I feel like I'm going to sleep in them because when it comes night time and I, come, I can't take them off. If they've got a clasp thing. My hand may work in the morning when I may actually... I have to put them on at the front and then spin them round. My hand may work in the morning, but my hand may not work at night. Yeah. Especially if I've been knitting. I can't crochet, but knitting. Right, this is the last one. Oh, look at that. Chain in black and gold. Chain links. Woohoo! Chains are always handy because if you don't actually wear them round your neck, they always make rather good handbag handles, don't they? You know. When I ever get around to making the handbags I'm supposed to have been making forever and a day. I've even got the little, you know, leather things with the little feet on, like Sheila's just been doing. I've even got them, but I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything with them. I can't use my bad hand as an excuse for it, I can I? Right, let's have a look what arrived for me. It came from Eva. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Greens. Looks a bit yellow, actually, but it's not. It's more of a lime green. Brown, lime green, emerald green. Yeah, it looks yellow, doesn't it, on camera? It's not yellow, I can assure you. It's, yeah, that's nice. After the last lot that came, there was such a big disappointment. This one, these lots are not. Oh, there's one that I can get over my head because it's long. It's sort of like imitation marble, this one. Imitation marble. Hmm, that would go with quite a few things, wouldn't it? That? I need to sort out my boots because I've got such a lot there. I need to sort that. Oh, 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 oh. Again, it's a nice long one. But I don't have to fasten, even though it's got a nice button. I can do buttons just about. Look at that one. 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. That one is... Woohoo! Love that one. Right, what else have we got in this bag? Oh gosh, this is a long one. This is the last one. It's very long. Very, very long. Greens, browns. The greens are like... They remind me like they've been stenciled or something. You know, like you get a, some new stencils on things. Toblerone. <laughs> oh, it's quite a long one, isn't it? Quite a long one. Eee. Maybe that will go around twice. Maybe. Oh, gosh, I've got something stuck to my hand now. Right, one last bag coming up. with my necklaces today. So, so happy! Oh, Nancy put a little something in an envelope, you naughty, naughty girl. But thank you very much. It will buy me a nice coffee tomorrow. Don't ask for anything. I never do. But it will buy me a coffee tomorrow. It's nice, isn't it? Lovely shades of greens. I did say Nancy again, didn't I? Nancy Norma. <laughs> Norma, you will never get me out of Polly and Auntie. I don't know why I do, but I just do. Blue. Look at that. My friend would like this because she likes the clank. What do they call it? ASMR? Something? You know when you like the sound of something? She likes the sound of clanking beads. Mm -hmm. Right, we're getting near the end. Oh. Super duper duper. They remind me in a way of sweets actually. I don't know what kind of sweets they remind me of, but they remind me of sweets. Red amongst one of my favourite colours, you know, red and purple, my favourites. Lilac. Lilac. I have got a couple of lilac sweaters, don't I? I've got so much knitting or crochet I want to do, but I'm just handicapped. My son said to me yesterday, is it this Friday you're going? I went, no, it's next Friday. I wish it was this Friday. Get it over and done with. This one's got little teeny weeny little seed beads with the red bigger beads in between. That's the last one. And it's got the knots in the seed beads. Seed beads and knots. Yeah, well, that's two boxes of very lovely necklaces, which made up for the box that I gave to the lady in the library because it was hmm, a lot of rubbish. Yeah. So tonight I'm going to Knit Club tonight, um, if the weather stops raining. Oh dear, I'm so sick of this blooming rain. But we shall see what we shall see. Um, I don't think I've got much else. I think I've got one more thing to arrive that you might be interested in. The scales are not working. People said to me today, have you lost weight? Have you lost weight yet? I said, I don't know. I thought it was the battery. So I bought a new set of the round batteries. You know, they like pennies. They look like pennies, don't they? I put the new battery in, but no. It's having none of it. I should have known really because it wasn't that long since I put a battery in before and I remember thinking to myself that battery didn't last long, yeah? So I think it's a more serious problem than the battery. My son's working today but maybe when he's not working tomorrow or Friday I'll ask him if he'll have a look, see whether it's something obvious before I buy a new set of scales, yeah. I mean I'm not weight obsessed, it's just I like to keep myself on an even keel, I like to know if I put a few pounds on because then I pull back and I don't eat as much till I get rid of those few pounds. I'm not dieting specifically. Although really, I, you know, I'm, I just don't feel like eating at the moment at all. I just hope that, you know, they don't stop my Ozempic 
whatever it is, derivatives, it's not the exactly of them people, it's that family. They don't stop that and then I'll have a gap and then I start again with the upset stomach again. I can do the upset stomach on my own. You know, oh dear. Today I have had one small sliver of cake at Nickel. And it's what about five o'clock, something like that. That's all I've eaten all day. And to be quite honest, I'm not hungry. And yet I know because of my diabetes I should be eating. But if you don't feel hungry, everything I eat seems to go as far as here, then it stops. Eventually then it dwindles down to my stomach. But like this morning, it didn't. It stayed there, had my shower, went in my bedroom, thought, ooh, just about made it back to the bathroom. You know, and I can just do that for fun. Sorry if you're eating, but that's the way it is. That is my life, feeling sick and up chucking, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I should, I've been told by my diabetic nurse that I need to go and see the doctor about my hernia. That it isn't good and I shouldn't be like this. And it's nothing to do, well, the ozempic dulls your appetite a little bit. But I've explained before, anybody who thinks they can just eat what they want and jab themselves are mis misguided, disillusioned, whatever. You can't. You ha have to, if you're jabbing yourself because of your diabetes and your sugars and things, it does take the edge a little off your appetite, but it doesn't stop you wanting to eat. So it's not a wonder drug, it's not whatever you think it might be. But every time I have a gap and I have to stop taking it because they don't have it to give me at the chemist, pharmacist, whatever, then when I start again, I start with a really bad stomach. And that is really bad. I have a week of it really being bad. And to me, it's... That's why I get mad. It isn't so much that I get mad because I don't have it because they've given it to the overweight people instead of the diabetic people. I get mad because I then have to suffer with the side effects for a full week of... It's not as I don't want to eat. I do. I eat. I want to eat, but then I have the choice. It'll either stay down or it won't, you know, so it's lovely. So if you're thinking of getting it as a quicker fix for you losing weight, don't bother. Don't bother. If it wasn't for my blood sugars, I wouldn't take it at all. Because it didn't, doesn't help. I lost four stone, which is four times 14 pounds if you're in America. Long before I ever had, you know, the old pick. So I can't say, oh yes, I have lost four stones on it. I think I've lost about two or three pounds while I've been on. This was empty. So it is not, you know, the sort of wounded drug. Oh, take this, inject yourself, you lose pounds and pounds and pounds. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Anyway, I'm going to go and get myself ready, see if I can rest my hands so I can do a bit of knitting at Nick Club. I've got to knit 36 inches on this band because it's going all the way around the bottom, you know, around my waist band. As I say, I'm doing lost stitch now, instead of that stitch. I could do, but I wasn't sure what the heck I was doing. It didn't look right. It would have been a lot firmer, actually. It's a nice, firm... I looked on the internet and they said... I've got a sticky bit stuck to me. They said it makes a nice, firm edging, so no doubt... Look at that, it won't come off my finger. Oh, it's gone now. It would have made a nice, firmer edging for the waistband and for the pockets and, the you know, the band up the front. It would have been nicer but to me life's too short if I'm actually doing a stitch and I don't like doing it if it had been for one little piece I might have persevered but I've got this bottom band I've got two little pockets here I've got the front two bands and I've got a collar to do oh and I've got the cuffs so I've got like this to finish and then I've got one two three four five six seven more pieces to do and I thought life's too short to be trying to do a knitting stitch that you're not into, yeah. They did work up much stiffer and thicker than this, but this will do the job. Moss stitch, as I call it. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Normal moss stitch. 
that'll do. It's only for me, that'll do. And I've got my buttons, as I've told you before, where have they gone? Buttons are missing. Oh, they're here. I've got my buttons ready. They had silver ones on the pattern, but I decided, you know, gold. Might as well flash out the light and have a gold button. So it's going to have buttons like that. I'm going to have two. Two at the bottom of the waistband. And then it's got about three or four up. One on each pocket. And I think there's two on each sleeve. I know I had to buy 11 buttons altogether. I knew I didn't have 11 all the same in the shed. And if you're going to make something, you want it nice, don't you? It is for me, but I wanted it nice, yeah. But I just feel as I've been knitting it forever and ever. I feel it's not growing. You know, I've never knitted something that's took me this long. I've actually sewn the body of the... But it's very tiny. It's going to want blocking a lot to fit, you know, even though I'm losing weight. It's still going to need to be blocked for me to get my little corpulence into it. Because I'm a little bit, well, a lot bigger, let's face it. That's the only trouble with a vintage pattern is they don't do the sizes. They only go up to, I think it's a 38 or something. Oh, gosh. I can't pick it up. I'm trying to pick it up with my left hand, which doesn't want to do it. I think it goes up to a 30. Oh, 38 to 40. And I think actually I've knitted it a bit tighter. Even though I'm on the right needles, I'm on a size 4, which is a 6mm in the new money. I've got a hair. Sorry, I've got a hair in my mouth. 6mm uh, in the new money. So, but I think I'm. I don't know whether it's because of my hand, I'm, I think my tension has firmed up. I know my tension's firmed up such a lot with the crochet. You know, so... Well, that's my phone telling me to shut up, Janet. You have been waffling along with you. And it's sorry I'm not my usual chirpy chirpy self. Maybe I'll be back to normal next week. Or next time I make a video, who knows. Anyway, bye for now. Hopefully I'll have a bit more knitting to show you next time. Bye now.